big data, data centric. Data is the new oil. You've all heard the hype. I don't need to convince you that being data driven is important. But data, facts, and numbers rarely get us excited and motivated to take action. Humans are hardwired to engage with stories. So today, we're going to walk through a simple four step process for telling compelling stories with data called the four D's of data storytelling. We're going to take this poorly designed chart that is devoid of data storytelling and we're going to give it a makeover step by step. Right now, we just have a data dump. I've just grabbed some data showing the worldwide market share of major web browsers. I've thrown it into Microsoft Excel and I've inserted a chart with Excel's default settings. Step one is to still. There's many noteworthy trends buried within this chart that we could choose to focus on, but we need to distill down to the most critical insights that are valuable to our audience. Today, we'll design for YouTube viewers as our audience. The trend that stands out most is the rapid rise in Google Chrome's market share, which has more than doubled in the last eight years. For a broad audience like YouTube, this well-known product's explosive growth is the most relevant story. However, imagine that we're presenting to an audience of iPhone, iOS developers. They might be much more interested in the market share of Apple's Safari browser, especially on mobile devices. Our role as data storytellers is to determine what insights will best serve our audience's needs. Once we've established what our audience needs to know, we want to convey our insights succinctly. Let's get rid of our boring title, Global Web Browser Market Share. This title merely tells our audience what's in the chart, but not why they should care about the chart. We'll replace it with, Google Chrome crushes the competition. This title is a bit like a newspaper headline. It's capturing the key insight using just four words and even uses some alliteration and dramatic words to capture the audience's attention. Step two is display. We now have a critical choice to make. How do we display our data visually so that it's easy for our audience to understand? This 100% stacked bar chart is ultra busy. I'm almost getting dizzy looking at it. Our go-to choice for visualizing trends over time is generally going to be a line chart. Compared with our 100% stacked bar chart, we see that the lines facilitate faster, easier comparison of each product's market share. Once we have selected the optimum chart type, we're ready for step three, declutter. We must relentlessly declutter and eliminate any visual components that are not working hard to support our key message about Google Chrome's stellar growth. Let's take out those grid lines, we'll simplify our x-axis and remove all that unnecessary repetition of the years and months. And we'll also eliminate the legend at the bottom of the chart and put our labels right next to each of the lines that they're labeling. Without the legend, we're not dependent on color to convey to our audience which series is which. So we can gray everything out. Our chart's now a lot less busy and we're ready for our final step, direct. We need to direct our audience's attention to the components of our visualization that support our key insights. In this case, we're highlighting the Google Chrome series in bright green. This strategic use of color enables our audience to immediately identify the data that supports our title and key takeaway. Once we have a clutter-free, all gray chart like this, we now have an ideal blank canvas for storytelling. We could then choose to highlight some different insights. In each case, I've used each company's brand colors to highlight their series. Safari looks like a small piece of the overall pie, but has actually increased its market share 2.5 times since 2012. We could argue that Microsoft has lost its edge despite the introduction of Edge. And unfortunately for Firefox, they seem to have fallen out of favor. A little bit more alliteration there. 
So to transform from a data dump to a data story, remember the four Ds. Distill the most critical insights that your audience needs. Display the data using the best visualization type to showcase your insights. Declutter and remove any distracting or unnecessary components from your visualization. And direct. Direct your audience's attention to the most critical components of your visualization that support your key insights.